Best part about having a greenhouse, oh, you can escape the rain. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the city set. Today we're gonna talk a little bit of beekeeping and a couple of things that I did that may have been a mistake. You ready to crack it? Yeah. Oh shoot, near we. You know, oh, there's like six oh, of them up here. No. There are not enough bees up here to defend them. <laughs> okay, I've never seen that before. Where did they go? I know, honey. Yeah, I know who it is. They like to get in there where there's not enough bees to fight them. I've never seen that before. Someone's going to have a bunch of bees in here now? You could in the top box, yeah. Or it's just they're under the top cover. Hmm. A lot of posturing. Mm -hmm. Stinky gym socks. You got your golden rod in. Sandy mites. Ah, so as you guys know, I started keeping bees this year. Oh, check out the sweet shirt I got. I won this on Instagram. Pretty awesome. Beekeeper honey bee America. <laughs> Just thought it was pretty neat. It came with a really sweet hat too, but I don't have it on. But anyways, so the other day my brother came over to do an inspection on the hive, as you can see from our reservatory right here in the greenhouse. It is really high, <laughs> but it's doing pretty good. There was a couple of things that I messed up on on my previous uh, thing when I went in there and my brother came over uh, and his girlfriend they did a deep inspection we went all the way down to the bottom we looked for the queen unfortunately we never found her so my queen is very elusive I've actually only seen the queen inside that thing twice twice the whole year but we did find uh, some signs of the queen. There were some eggs, there were some younger larvae, there were some older larvae, uh, there were some hatching brood. So she must be relatively close in there. It definitely seemed like if she was in there, things had slowed down tremendously and she was not laying very prolific at the moment, which could just be that there's a break and we're getting into getting ready for those winter bees, right? So the first thing I found out that I might have done wrong was last time when I went in there, you guys saw, I was thinking I was gonna come create a buffer and give myself a new place for the bees to go to lessen the one box so that I could actually think about harvesting it the next time I went in there. My brother told me that was a big mistake. Big mistake, big, huge. So apparently uh, that's not really what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that they fill out the entire box before you put the next one on. So by separating that and jamming a new box in the middle there, I actually created a large gap for them and made a lot bigger area for them to have to do work, which was no good. And then, because I gave them all that extra room in there and there wasn't enough bees to completely get it all filled and capped, what I did was I invited myself some hive beetles. And we definitely don't want to do that. So I feel like I kind of made a little mistake there uh, we got some hive beetles in there. There were two that we found, or maybe three. I think there might have been three that we found all together. But we squished them, we got them out of there, and now I have to get beetle traps to make sure I don't get a beetle infest infestation, because uh, I definitely would not like that. The front entrance was Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that one is only about 50% cast. It's about 90 on this side. Signs of mites. Bridge comb going on. Yeah, I got them on you. Yeah. Another mag. Completely fine. You flip it over, you got some bridge comb. But this is what I meant by putting this box on top. They've kind of taken their attention away from yeah. it. Yeah, I see. I'm not, I get what you're saying. Box. That. that actually makes a lot of sense. I wouldn't, you know. Oh shoot, there's a beetle. Yep, that's a small, small hive beetle. I'm gonna grab that guy right out of there and smash him. Just put that under the tool. Under the tool, or you just push him in. And smash him in. Nope, probably not. Very hard to get him that way. Is that? 
and then I'll do it. With the high tool, we'll put them up against a piece of wood or brick and smash them. Oh, smash them other. They have a very, very hard shell. Mm -hmm. You actually hear them pop. Go ahead and take that bridge comb right off of there, too. wide enough. Mm -hmm. I kind of designed it for this whole purpose. Okay. There you go. Alright, now this one are you know, just starting on these middle ones because this yep. is the brand new one. Mm -hmm. Yep. So do you pull any so of these? Pop this one out of here. Mm -hmm. Propolis? Propolis. Yep. Propolis. You say it. You say how you say it, I say how I say it. <laughs> So after checking that first box or two and seeing that there was some building being done, some nectar being brought in, some pollen, there's some stuff happening up there. It just wasn't capping out the one box fully like I had thought it was. I thought it was more capped out than it really turned out to be. You know, rookie mistake. Ah, uh, it's a rookie mistake there. Oh yeah, the way it's a, yeah. probably a rookie mistake. It's, it's all right, yeah. rookie, don't worry about it. Not really checking all the way through the box before I made a kind of a rash decision. Which, as a rookie, you're kind of expecting things are going to happen, right? You're going to do things that are wrong. It's all right, rookie. <laughs> uh, we just gave ourselves a little bit of an issue that we weren't having before. Uh, but it can be remedied real easy. We're going to install some be beetle traps and be done with that part of it. The other thing that we were checking for was mites. Oh, shoot. That is a yellow jacket. Yes, it is. Smush it. Really? Honey, they yeah, will raid uh, beehives. Dice. Why isn't it dying? It's dead. There you go. And there's your honeybee going after it. Well, what yep, are they going to do with it? She's going to take it out of the hive. We'll do it for her. Oh. oh. Anything sweet right now, they'll go after. They yeah. can raid out a honey hive. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, Again, we're not seeing signs of mites. Haven't spotted any beetles yet. Oh, there's a mite. There's one bee with it on the top of her thorax. Where she drifts it off to. Right there. Tool. We've got two of them here. That one has one on the top of the thorax, right there. See it? And she has one on her back. See that one? Right behind her head, right behind her eyeball. Okay, yeah. No, okay, yeah, I see it now. And then the other one had it on the top of her thorax under the wing. Fuzzy part. Yes. Right <laughs> There you go, there's a full frame. You get bands, uh, you can tuck them in. I just pick them. It's just stab them Yeah, because they can still sting into the jeans. So this frame would be a frame that you can harvest if it is almost 100% cat. Just a little bit. So what we ended up doing was just kind of inspecting them as we went through and we did find some mites here and there. There wasn't like a ton, but there was enough to be concerning. So I will be doing an oxo an ox So I will have to end up doing a oxalic acid a treatment of the hive to get rid of those beetles. And that brings me to the greatest disappointment of doing the inspection. Is my brother so kindly broke me the terrible terrible news. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. No, honey. I'm not going to get any honey this year. He said that what they're bringing in right now is mostly all goldenrod. He said it's not very good. You know, everybody has their own opinion. I've never actually had the goldenrod honey, so I can't tell you if it's good or bad. But there's a lot of people who say it's not very good. So, <laughs> but we're also thinking about making sure the bees have enough honey to get through the winter, which means I got to make sure that like three of those boxes are full of honey. <laughs> to make sure that they can get through because they're a good size uh, colony, you know, so we got to make sure they have enough. 
So we're not gonna get honey in our first year. Also doing the oxalic acid treatment. <laughs> you guys all know I'm really good with challenging words. <laughs> so, or any words basically. So anyway, so that's a, that's a bummer. I'm a little bit, little bit bummed out about it, but it's understandable. Uh, a lot of times in your first year of beekeeping, you will not get a good harvest, uh, but your next year you'll be able to harvest earlier. So we're here and established that you make it through the winter we should be in really good shape to have a good spring harvest so there's there's that you know we will get honey it just won't be as soon as i wanted it to be oh so we did that we went all the way down to that bottom box we took a lot of frames out almost every frame throughout the throughout the boxes going down it was a long inspection guys it was almost an hour and a half i think we were in the boxes all together uh so my battery actually died like <laughs> a little ways into it i think i only made it about 30 or 30 or 30 or 40 minutes into the inspection and then the camera died uh just didn't have any more battery left in we were very focused on what we were doing that i didn't want to fiddle with the camera while we were also doing that so i just filmed a little bit of what we were doing in the beginning until the camera died and then we just finished what we had to do because when you get into a deep inspection like that this time of year the bees get a little more angry uh, they don't like it you know but they don't want you in there uh they're, they're trying to get settled get ready for, kind of for winter so it's just uh there's just you know tensions are flying this time of year when it comes to the honeybees so anyways we got through that and put it all back together and here we are next up we'll be doing beetle traps installing some beetle traps in there to make sure we can get rid of all those beetles or so we don't get any more beetles uh, we got rid of the ones that were in there i don't want to invite any more so beetle traps are going in there this week and then also the treatment of the oxalic acid i think i got it right that time <laughs> first try Woo uh, that'll be happening probably this week also uh, as long as i get all the stuff maybe next week after that by the time you guys see a video about it but that is the update on the hive guys it's doing pretty good according to my brother who is my mentor so i have to trust what he says uh, so I think we're in good shape for overwintering these gals and getting them into that next season. So that's really exciting. And hopefully next year we just store away a ton of honey because I really, really am a little bit bummed I don't get to have honey this year. But it is what it is. We're doing okay for our first year. All right, guys, remember to be bold and grow bold. And as always, I'm going to see you in that very next video.